Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, I'll explain you how to configure Python on Windows machine. Now this tutorial is optional if you have followed the exact same steps as I have explained in the previous tutorial. But in case while installing Python, you have forgot to check this particular box. So I'll open this particular image. So this is the uh, setup screen that you can see uh, that I have pulled from the internet. And you can see that this checkbox add Python 3.6 to path. If you have checked this particular path, well and good. If not, then Python path won't be added a path variable of the system. And what this means is that if the path variable doesn't contain the location of the Python folder where you have installed Python, then you cannot directly. So let me minimize this. So say, for example, if I go to command prompt and from command prompt, I'm in the C user. So there is some other directory. This is not the Python installation directory. So even though I'm not in that particular Python directory, I can still run the Python commands. The reason for this is because this Python installation location has been added into the path variable of the system, right? So that's the significance of the path variable um, or, or the system path. So in the system path, this particular path, the Python installation path has been added uh, because during the installation, we check that checkbox of adding the path uh, or the Python installation path to the path variable uh, system path. And that is why we are able to run the commands. It doesn't matter where we are in uh, the location or on the prompt, we will be able to run these commands. Okay. Now, if say, for example, you forgot to check that box, so you need to go ahead and add those libraries or the Python installation location into the path variable. And I'll show you how you can do that. Okay. So, on the Windows machine, what you need to do is you simply go to the or simply type in PC and go to the this PC. Just right click, go to the properties. If you are on older version of Windows, go to my computer, right click properties or simply from the control panel, go to uh, all control panel items and go to system. In the system, you will see advanced system settings. So this is Windows 10. So click on advanced system settings and you need to come to this particular window system properties in the advanced and go to the environment variables so click on environment variables and in the environment variables below the system variable you will see the path variable there right so if i select that and click on edit you will see the python scripts and python folder has been added there and this folder location has been added because during the installation of Python, I checked the checkbox, add the Python installation folder location to the path variable or to the system path, right? In case you forgot, forgot it, this is how you have to come to this particular window and simply you can directly add these here. So what you need to do is you first have to find out where you have installed the Python, right? So in my case, it's in C uh, program files and then Python. So I'll go to that particular folder and then simply copy this particular location so python 3.9 and go to this particular environment variable and you can directly add these locations here so to add the locations here what i can do is i can click on new and directly paste this location here okay click on okay okay and again okay right now because i already had it I won't be adding it again. Let me edit the environment variable, go to the path, and I'll show you the better way of handling these path variable. Okay, so I'll edit it again. So now you can see that there is one here and at the bot at the above there is one. Okay, so you can do this directly from here. So let me delete this one. And then so I have added Python 3.9. I need to add the scripts as well. So I'll simply go to the Python folder location, go to scripts, copy this location and come to the environment variable path, click on new and add that location here. Okay. Once you add these locations, then if you 
try to run the command or the Python commands from anywhere on your command prompt, whether you are on that particular location, uh, Python installation location or not, it will still recognize the Python commands. So that's the whole significance of adding the environment variable. Now, because this is the system path, so path variable is the system path. So what is the better approach to handle this is basically to define a, a variable of your own. So for example, here, if you see, there are a couple of variables that have been dis defined, right? So let me scroll up. So there is a Java home, there is Maven home. So what we can do is we can create a new variable, new system variable. Okay, so to create a new system variable, I'll create the name as python path right and please remember just it all uppercase no spaces there and then in the variable value i'll paste all the folder or the location which i want to include here so i'll include scripts i'll include the python folder location then I'll include some of the uh, libraries as well. So I'll include the capital lib and then I'll include small libs separated by semicolon. So you, this is important. So semicolon is important after each path that you add there. Okay. And that should be it. So if you want, you can also add. So I've included a lib lib scripts. Uh, the root folder and if you want you can add the DLLs as well so let me add DLLs there okay so now we have added all the folders in the Python path variable so just click OK okay so now you can see the system variable Python path has been added there okay but this has not been added into the system path yet okay so this is the system variable that I have created. Now I'll go to the path and edit the path. And here I will add that system variable Python path system variable that I have added. Okay, so I'll simply click on new and start with percentage sign and type in Python path and followed by the percentage sign. Okay, so now because I have added all the Python folder location installation location into the python path variable i do not need any of these okay so i'll delete the uh, python 3.9 so i do not need any of the python folders there or python location there so i'll remove the, uh, the python location so i'll delete this one and then i'll remove the python scripts which has been added there and then c program files python 3.9 Okay, rest everything, just keep it as is because these are the Python, uh, these are the system path variables. So do not remove any of those. So anything that was installed as part of the Python installation, I have removed that. Now, the benefit of this is because we do not want to interfere a lot with the uh, system path variable because maybe by mistake you remove something else in this particular list and you will keep wondering what has been removed and something else won't uh, will stop working so it's better rather than adding six or seven different lines for each of the program or uh, the python installation uh, that we have done we have created a variable python path and we have added all the folders in the python path and simply added one line here which is percentage python path or the name of the variable that we have created followed by the percentage all right and simply click OK now, click on OK, OK, and that's it, right? So now if I close this particular command prompt, open again and type in the Python command here. So say, for example, Python version, you will see that it's still recognized there, okay? It doesn't matter whether I'm in C drive or D drive and trying to run the command it will still be recognized so that's what the significance of system path variables is it doesn't matter which program you install say for example you install java any other program most of the time the programs itself the applications itself they add those variables by default into the path system path if not 
this is the process that I have explained in this particular video that you need to follow to work around with the path variables or the system path and add those into the path variable. So defining your own system uh, variable and then adding the path, say for example, for the Python, I have added it into the Python path variable and then added the Python path into the path system path. That's the better approach because tomorrow, if you want to change something, say for example, if I go to the settings again, so in the properties, say for example, here, if I have to change something, say my Python installation location has changed, so I do not have to go to the path variable. So simply click uh, go to the path. So I do not have to go to the path uh, environment variable and edit each and every five lines there. I can simply go to Python path, click on edit and edit these. So this will make our work more, you know, a better approach and it will be uh, less error prone or there is very less possibility that we'll be uh, messing around with or any of the path variable that have been defined in the system path. All right, so that's the advantage of defining your own system variable and then using that system variable into the path or the system path. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. This is completely optional tutorial, just in case you haven't followed the, uh, the steps that I have explained in the previous tutorial in Python installation. So if you have forgot to check the box, add the location to the path variable, then you follow this and configure the Python on. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.